Hey everyone, it's uh, Ruse HD here. I'm going to be casting uh, this 1v1 uh, between uh, Midas, who is the British player, and it's a me in the SC of Doom uh, as the German player. Uh, so I just got to flip this camera around, give me one second here. Uh, do the fact that I'm going to be recording, obviously, uh, on the side of the player who uh, gave me the replay or posted the replay on RuseReplays.com. Yeah, I got it right the first time. So anyway, 1v1 uh, on uh, Tank Graveyard, so pretty much let's get this started. So I'm going to speed this up a bit, and this 1v1 is going to be a lot easier to uh, to do. Uh, a little bit of weird, I got a blitz on this right side, oh no it's on the whole section, my apologies. And uh, right now uh, it's a me, a doom, is going to camouflage net only. Maybe some uh, shenanigans with uh, radio silence. There we go. So possibly um, you might see something crazy. Maybe an airfield. I hope not because if he pulls an airfield out, um, it's a me. Uh, Niesi is gonna, or uh, sorry, uh, Midas might pull something else out that uh, he might not like. So what do we got here? We got so far we got an artillery uh, building and an anti-tank building. Uh, he built the anti-tank building outside of the zone. Um, a very weird play by the British player to start this game. Uh, so we got our artillery anti-air, and we have uh, anti-tank. So pretty much a non-standard play right away, right off the bat, uh, from uh, from Midas. Uh, it's a me Doom has just made uh, anti-air and artillery base, which you would assume when you're playing a 1v1 against a British player. Uh, when he sees though that Midas has an anti-tank base, um, he might be sort of confused due to the fact that uh, usually when uh, you play a British player, they usually only have enough money to afford that that airfield uh, and those first couple units uh, just to pump those out. And it's sort of actually weird that he's actually getting artillery or anti-air for himself, uh, maybe sensing uh, some maybe different play from the German player. But nonetheless, uh, they apparently both assume the other is going to go air. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. So now the It's a Me Mario Man. Uh, it's a Me Niesi, I should say. Or Niesi. Uh, getting a barracks up. Probably going to start pumping out uh, those uh, mobile recon. And possibly those uh, heavy infantry. Oh, no, he's going to pull a Volkswagen. He's going to get that Volkswagen. So much just... Uh, Looks like just getting an anti-tank gun. And let's see if uh, Doom... Nope, did not. So none of them have used uh, another ruse yet. Looks like the ruse hasn't had a chance to... Uh, hasn't uh, come up on the side yet, so no ruses so far uh, for each player yet. Looks like he's pumping out uh, basic light infantry grenadiers. And uh, he's pumping out... Uh, Mike's pumping out anti-tank guns. A little odd because they're sort of they're playing they're both playing a counter game uh, right now. Uh, the only thing is that they don't have any units to counter uh, right now. The only one that's making anything really advancing that's worth advancing is going to be uh, it's a me, and he is actually no he's not radio silencing down the left side. So right now, let's see if possibly Minus may use a spy ruse to see what's coming his way because um, it quite possibly could be that the German players actually. Uh, using reverted intel on this left side, uh, which is a possible. Uh, I haven't seen it done that often, but uh, it could be uh, something that you can do in 1v1, uh, especially with the German player. The German player could say pump out. Say these are six like Panzer, uh, six Panzers. Uh, sorry, yeah, Panzer three or Panzer four. Sorry. Uh, say these are six Panzer fours, right? And these are another three Panzer fours, and he's pumping them out. Uh, and you don't know what it is, so it's reverted intel. So now he uses a spy. He needs to know what's going on this on this right side. He needs to know that it's infantry and not tanks. See, at least he's doing the smart thing. Because if he would have left that alone, and those those turn out to be six uh, Panzers, fours instead of infantry with reverted intel, uh, then he'd be in big big trouble. Um, if he kept going on down this right side, uh, by the time he got here, he probably could have taken out that AT gun because there's only three of them there. Uh, six Panzer fours could have easily taken out uh, the AT gun, but he's going to put uh, men in this right side as well, and he's going to put the Grenadiers uh, in the city just so he can't get uh, he cannot get uh, possibly radio silenced, rused 
and uh, attack from behind. Because that's a possibility. You could read our silence here, come through the village or the city or the town, and, and then come from behind and uh, take your opponent out that way. So he looks like he's just trying to secure the town or the city so far. It looks like we got a recon plane, and we have a fighter bomber on the airfield as well. No, too far of a zoom out. It looks like uh, it's me who's trying just to push with light infantry, but I don't really understand why he would do that since uh, there's some artillery in play currently right now. So the fighter bomber is just going to land and uh, take out possibly this. I would say that he, you should aim. Oh, wow. One fighter bomber just dropped both of those infantry. Uh, if I was using the second fighter bomber, I would actually be going for the Volkswagen Beetle, which it looks like he's about to go for. Maybe. Looks like he's about to go for the. And there it goes. And there goes the Volkswagen. That's gone. And with this recon in the middle, you can see that the recon plane is going to be spotting all the units. And uh, it's going to be making it very difficult for that recon to to come down, or for sorry that for the infantry to uh, for get anywhere anywhere fast. Uh, so now, same thing. It's me. He's just pumping out anti-air. Sees that there's air in the in, the, in play now, and he sees has a 360 degree uh, defense, which is a good idea because anything can happen. You can blitz uh, radio silence around the corner. And with the recon plane, and uh, at least this will do some kind of damage to uh, take out any plane that might be coming solo to try and just do a solo bombing run. Uh, Midas looks like just getting uh, more fighter bombers, just getting those hurricanes out. Um, I'd actually like to see him possibly start getting uh, typhoons. Um, right now, he doesn't need to get typhoons since there's no real need. Um, but you never know. Uh, by the you, typhoons are the best thing to get because it looks like either it's a me is researching to either get Panzer IVs or Tigers, or he's just pumping out units again. Very very slow production times for the Germans. So about to find out in a couple seconds what he is actually going to make. I'm actually going to go to his production tab to tell him see what he researched, uh, if he researched anything. And apparently he's already researched twice without me knowing, uh, and he has King Tigers in play uh, right now. So apparently I missed the research uh, times going on once I, uh, when I was actually looking over here. So now he's going to push with the King Tiger. Um, I wouldn't really, this recon's actually going to sp spot it, I believe. Yes, it did spot the King Tiger tank. Uh, so I would actually expect uh, Midas to now start researching uh, advanced, advanced tank uh, technology to get that wooded advanced ATO would be the best idea or he can also go uh, go for uh, typhoons uh, research those typhoons and uh, those typhoons can probably uh, maybe two or three uh, dro uh, airdrop their payloads and take this uh, king tiger out looks like uh, it's me trying to make a push um, doesn't really have the unit composition to push with uh, this pretty much artillery will just pretty much drop anything it's uh, this airplane recon can see uh, and it'll just take out pretty much any infantry and it's actually also a risk because he's sort of push he is pushing with his anti-aircraft guns uh, which is a big risk because if he's pushing with these and these start getting hit by artillery and these actually go down uh, like these are about to go down right here two of these are going to about to go down in any second now one more barrage or volley and these uh, two or three, all oh, these actually three might even go down. If these three go down, it's going to be a uh, big trouble because then he can just take his his uh, three fire bombers and drop it right on top of this uh, King Tiger, and uh, there goes uh, forty or fifty dollars uh, down the drain uh, for no reason whatsoever. So this air is actually going to push. Um, He's pretty much going to drop a fighter bomber on there. Uh, the, you need to attack the Flax and the Bofors when they're moving. Uh, that's the best time to attack a unit is when it's moving. See, as you can see, the gun is looking, but it can't shoot because it's not stopped. Um, if you're playing a British player or you're playing anyone that has air, and you have uh, AT or AA, sorry, that requires uh, to be set up, you need to highlight all those AT, AA quickly and press E as soon as possible. And... Uh, begin to uh, let that that unit set up if you don't let that unit set up you're going to be in big trouble because they're going to start carpet bombing you or they're